here's the stuff I ordered for Christmas thanks to their Black Friday sale this is not sponsored by them but if Wild One ever wants to sponsor me I would totally accept that I got two collar walk kits which include the dog collar the dog leash and a poop bag carrier and then I also bought some grooming wipes and then a set of four purple um, tennis balls I got an extra set of poop bags and I also got two dog bowls which you can kind of see one and then of course the other I chose not to monogram them or get them personalized I have two pups named Jim and Ivy. I, they are both girls, they're sisters from the same litter. Um, I gave one dog a color and another dog a color, so that's why there's blush and lavender. Um, it just keeps it simple to know whose is whose because they are very identical in size. So I got these colors because I already have a lavender harness for one of my girls and then I have a blush harness for the other one. So this is Ivy. This is Gemma. They are both wearing their harnesses. Ivy is wearing a medium lavender harness and a small collar. Now hers is getting a little dirty only because the back of this is like rubbing off onto it. That's the only reason why this has some dirt on it, which it can rub off um, the dirt, I mean. And then this is Gemma. She is wearing a small collar and then a small harness. So their harnesses are a little bit dirty right now only because I've been using them and I've actually owned both of their harnesses since September of 2020, so over a year. Come here, go over there, good girl. So Gemma is wearing a size small because unfortunately for her and Ivy, they are at the top end of a size small and the way bottom end of a medium. So uh, Gemma can still fit in a small, but the problem is, is here Gemma, can you look over here please? See this neck? This is pulled all the way to be like as loose as possible and I can't make it any looser, so when I pull it over her head, it's not the worst, but I do have to like be careful to like tuck her ears and um, it's not, and then this, luckily this is the reason why I won't ever get her a medium because like she's got so much room around her rib cage, right? So really, I kind of just wish they, wild one would add some more room like look see how doubled that is like that's how much i pulled it to loosen it just so that she can have as much neck room as possible jimmy wanted to be part of this too so here she is all right stay good now stay all right so ivy's neck part i try to get it close to the top just so that it hugs her because if it's not sorry baby sorry hold on like when it's fully loose and I'm just gonna do this side look how much room that is how much give so like when I'm on the leash it can easily just rub her and I don't want that to happen and she might be able to get out which I definitely don't want to happen so for hers I definitely always try to tighten it up she doesn't love that I like to tighten it up. Hold on, put you down. Um, but 
it's still pretty loose. I can fit my whole hand in here. Um, yeah. And then just so I can show you guys. The medium is actually too big for her, technically, but the small neck-wise, in terms of how loose it could get, was way too small for Ivy. So I bought this medium, but it was way too long, like on her belly. You see how here it fits right under her armpit? Um, this used to be way back here in her midsection, which I guess is fine. I personally didn't like that. So I actually hand sewed this and um, I made it shorter. Like I hand sewed it so that she does pull a bit. She's got some strength on her. Um, so I personally sewed it, you can just see here, so that um, it fits her more um, custom in a way. Because um, before, when it wasn't, she could actually, sorry baby, um, get her other leg trapped so that it was kind of like this. Like she managed to do that sometimes. Um, that was never good, yeah. Thank you, Ivy. Good girl. Good girl. Now stay there, stay. So this is the standard leash. As you can see, it's pretty long. It's kind of nice. It's uh, apparently five and a half feet long. And then of course you can shorten it by clipping this. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. You can clip this to her, I guess, or to this one, like that, and then it is much shorter. So this poop bag is easy to put on, it just slips to here, it could just, I guess, but like you know you just pull it through and then pull it through and there you go put back what do we think ivy we like it <laughs> and here is Gemma with her standard length leash Also with the boot bag that I put on. So, Gemma's um, coated D-ring is a bit worn. As you can see, it's definitely got lost its paint um, because we've had a, a few different leashes in the past. So, it's rubbed the paint off. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, you can, you can kind of see it there as well. So I really like washing these in the washer, um, put it on like a delicate cycle. And then I always hang dry mine. I've never put it in a dryer. So it's kept its quality up. I think when I was first researching these, before I even got these, they said they needed to be hand washed, and I did follow that for the first few washes, but honestly, you can put it on the delicate wash, and it'll be just fine. This is the back of it, so you can see this actually hasn't been washed for about four days because I just washed it, and then it went to the beach. Both of these went to the beach um, two days ago, and... The back is very nice and clean looking, and this is, like I said, four days after a bath, or a wash, I mean. So this is also pretty nice, and then you can see what I mean by, um, let me see if I can focus this better. How the paint's coming out of it, off of it, just from, you know, leashes. And then, I guess, 
for the most part, it d washing does take these stains out. Like, it does take the stains out. Um, it's obviously not perfect. Um, I don't use bleach on this. Um, I just don't think it's necessary. It's on their belly, of course, it's gonna get dirty faster than the top. Um, and Gemma's is a bit more dirty because she's shorter than her sister. Um, but with a wash, this basically comes out. And no one really sees it anyway, because it's on her belly. These poop bags are honestly my favorite poop bags of any of my dog poop bags that I've ever bought. Um, they're super soft, very soft to the touch, very silky. And then it's kind of cool that these are made with cornstarch and they're unscented. I don't think they sell the scented ones anymore, but I only bought unscented ones. I buy a box, six rolls come in it. And you can see it right there. Let me open this for you. It's really nice packaging. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive than maybe like your bargain poop bags. But those poop bags tear and they're hard to open. And these have never been hard to open. And then, yeah. Here we go. It's pretty nice, sticker, very organized. What I like about this is that it's very easy to open. Like I'm never having to struggle. I'm just doing this with one hand. Like I can easily just do that and then that is the opening of the bag. Take the top off, you unscrew it, you can See that little notch in there that so it can fit your poop bag keep it in its place do that and there you go this is the wild one dog bowl so this dog bowl is stainless steel has a non-slip base dishwasher safe and it says it's BPA free so it has a four cup capacity okay I just washed both bowls so this is what it looks like it's kind of cool because it has like a round edge so it's not like a corner um, so your dog can get if it's for food um, which this would all be using for food um, dog doesn't have to fight against the edges to get the last bits so it's kind of cool see I'll make them show you the rounded edge and then here's the silicone base you can do that and um, you can do this I don't know if it's meant for you to be able to take it off like that so like you can I don't know wash it or I don't know so on the bottom, you see the Wild One logo and it just reminds you that it's 32 fluid ounces and then the Wild One website made in China. So, need some of that to one dog and then some of my other puppy. And then we like to give our dogs meal mixers to just entice them. I'm gonna put some of these in here to 
even it out. This is it. This is the water bowls or food bowls, depending on how you want to use it. So I know the setup looks a little funny just due to the different sizes of the bowls and the food bowl just being so much larger than their current water bowl. I might end up buying another bowl for their water so it looks more even. Um, but wild one, wild, but wild one only sells um, the lavender as you can see. But wild one only sells bowls in the colors of lavender as you see, tan, green, and then black. I would love to see a blue bowl, but I guess that's not in the cards at the moment. Um, yeah. These are the Wild One Biodegradable Green Wipes. They're made with soothing coconut water and aloe vera. There's 70 count. So here's the wipe. It's pretty cool. The wipe smells pretty good. It does smell like eucalyptus and in my opinion it smells a little bit like mint. So I like a mix of eucalyptus and mint. Well, I think Jimma likes it. So Ivy's in her crate. She loves her crate. This is where they sleep every night. What do you think? You don't know yet? Should I give you another smell? Can I, can I try to wipe your head with it? What do you think? To summarize, I love the harnesses. I love the color walk kits. Um, I love the colors. I love the quality. Uh, one thing that I would change is sizes small and medium seem to have such a big gap that for pups like my dogs for about 17 and 17 18 or 19 pounds between that range um, They fit at the very top of the small and the very very bottom of a medium They can't even really fit a medium but um, if wild one could add a size for dogs that are too big for a small, but too small for a medium. That would be really nice. The, the harnesses I've held up really well for the year I've had them, which actually, I, now that I think about it, it's been about a year and a half since I've had them. Um, so I don't know if I personally would buy whatever new small medium size if they did make one, unless mine fell apart. Um, but so far they've held up pretty well. Because I just got the dog bowls and I just started using them, I can't comment on whether the paint is scratch resistant. Um, but I can keep you guys updated with that. Like I said before, I love the poop bags. If anything, that is the one item I keep buying again and again. Yeah, so overall I'm very, very happy with um, Wild One and all their products. Just need them to find a size between their small and medium to fit the dogs that fit in between. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching my video and comment. I don't really make review videos, so you don't need to subscribe unless you want to. Thank you so much.